Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are finally taking a look at the Target exclusive 5 pack for 2022 and it is the Justice League versus the Joker. I apologize for the delay on this video, I just got my sample in so I'm reviewing it within the time that it's been released but it's been out for a little while so again I do apologize, sometimes it takes longer for samples to get here but in this case I still wanted to review it since we do have a brand new truck and of course the theme of reviewing the 5 packs should not be impeded upon on my channel. So here is the set in its entirety. We have the Justice League, which features the Batman, the Superman, Wonder Woman, and the debut of Flash versus the Joker truck. The packaging is very basic, but also uh, just like a comic book style. So you can see it's a blue background with the trucks angled up here for the first time like this, all angled in one motion. Uh, we have the uh, comic book sketches of each character in this pack. And then we have a really cool uh, rear side of the packaging with all the characters and their truck renders all in different angles. I really like how they did this with their logos as well. And same thing on this side on the packaging. So I'm going to unbox this. I'll be right back and let's take a look at each truck individually right now. Okay, so here they are all out of the packaging. We're gonna start today's review with the first truck, which is the Superman. And Superman is sporting a brand new chassis variant with chrome painted headers on the motor. And then we have a pearlescent blue roll cage with red rims and BKT printed tires with the classic Superman body. Uh, there is nothing really that new about it, but if you don't have a Superman yet, this is a great opportunity to find one, obviously with all the other superheroes in one set. So here is the Superman for the first part of the review uh, in this set for the DC Justice versus Joker five pack. We also have the return of Batman, this time with another chassis variant with a pearlescent charcoal gray roll cage, light gray painted headers, which I really like. That's actually a really nice color for this uh, set up here with a gray chassis. We have black rims and BKT printed tires with the standard Batman body. So again, if you haven't found a Batman, which seems pretty hard to believe since there have been many variants of it in the recent year, uh, this is another chance to get it with a very nice chassis setup. I actually really enjoy how they did this one. The yellow uh, is very subtle, but very effective since they didn't put any yellow into the chassis. So another new variant of Batman returning with Superman. And then this one may be one you don't have since Wonder Woman hasn't really been around that much. There's only been a couple variations of it. Uh, Wonder Woman returns in this set with the updated body color with the blue, uh, this time with the gold roll cage fluorescent color as well with chrome painted headers a light blue chassis color and maroon colored rims with BKT printed tires as well. So this is a really cool variation of Wonder Woman. Uh, another one, if you haven't found it yet, uh, a good chance to grab it. You probably won't be seeing much of Wonder Woman past this point. We don't really see it much at all. So that's why it's kind of a nice one to have. It's a new refresh on the scheme to have in this set. And then before we go to the last superhero, I do want to talk about the other variant in this set, which is the Joker. So Joker has had about three or four appearances now uh, with different chassis variants, but this time in uh, the Justice pack, it has a really cool roll cage setup with purple as the roll cage color, uh, light gray painted headers like Batman had, and a dark green chassis with the standard Joker body. So you can see the Joker body casting I've always really enjoyed, so nice to see it again with this setup. And then we have gray rims with the BKT printed tires. Yet again, for this whole set, they're gonna all have BKTs. So Joker gets the BKT treatment as well. And then the final one is the one we're gonna spend some time talking about, which is the debut of the Flash. So Flash is obviously a DC superhero. I believe I saw that the Flash movie is coming out soon or something, or it might've already been out. Uh, but this might be why they're using this in this set. Uh, just to bring back the relevancy of Flash. So you can see it is using the full charge casting or the Harley Quinn casting, depending on what you want to call it, since Harley Quinn did debut in another Target uh, exclusive pack, a three pack with Joker versus a 124 scale Batman. That was the only time and currently up to this point, the first time we've seen uh, the Harley Quinn truck on this same casting. So they are using this casting again for the Flash. Um, I don't know if I agree with them using this one. I think it's been used by Harley Quinn, so it's kind of odd to use it again for a superhero, but I do like the color scheme. Uh, it is very reminiscent, and people have pointed this out, of Carolina Crusher. Uh, it is the same exact color scheme, red and yellow, uh, major parts of the trucks painted in those two colors. So yes, it is very similar to that, I get it. But it is Flash's color scheme, so 
uh, it makes sense that it would kind of look like Carolina Crusher depending on what they went with. So let's take a look at the side panels here. You can see we have the flash logo with the lightning bolt and the white circle. We have the red side painted here with a black lightning bolt pattern dividing the split paint job, which is a split paint job. If you look at it, these are two different paint colors, not decals. There is a yellow side here with a red Moss Jam logo. Uh, the tailgate is painted in red with the taillights in yellow, silver detailing on the bottom of the bumper. And then we have the uh, trademark, of course, there with the vents and the antenna in silver, the rear windshield in gray with the flash logo on the roof. On the red side, we have a gray windshield in the front with a red uh, plastic insert. I do wonder if they're ever gonna use anything in this plastic insert. They never have to this point, but it is odd that they never went with the metal casting for the front. They actually put a plastic thing here. So maybe in the future we'll see something, but so far we have not. Uh, the front here, the grill is painted in silver with this side sporting the same exact logos and details as the left side did. It has a red roll cage with a yellow chassis, chrome painted headers, yellow rims, and BKT printed tires. So that is about the extent of this pack since there are four new variations of trucks we've already seen before. There wasn't a ton to talk about, but Flash really was the point of this pack. So if you haven't picked one up yet and you want the Flash or you're a fan of the DC Comics and Flash specifically, uh, here's your chance to get it. I don't know if it'll make a singles appearance. So far, Harley Quinn has not made another appearance besides that three pack. So this is a chance it might be an exclusive permanently only in this five pack but you never know they might bring it back at some point in the future but for now with the bkt's the printed headers this is a very sporty version of flash as well as sporty versions of all the other variants of the superheroes and the villain so check it out at target they should be in stores now a great holiday set for any dc fan and moss jam collector so thank you guys for watching thanks for the patience in this review and i will see you guys next time this is ryan or monster mocd signing out